So one of our main aims at CDC is to establish standardized methods for analyzing the data that we receive and applying those consistently across jurisdictions, across states, so the results are comparable as you look across the country. While we share our methods for performing these calculations, differences still arise though when compared to what states are reporting. These differences can arise for a host of reasons and I'm gonna walk through a couple of them. So one of them, sometimes there are reporting or processing errors, either the data coming in or how the data are being packaged when they come to CDC. While we have processes for identifying and addressing these errors in an effort to report the data in as close to real time as possible to get this data into your all's hands, they can sometimes make their way into publicly released data. So that's one way. Next, sometimes how the information is summarized can differ how we do it versus how a state does it. For example, the number of days included in a measure, they looking at seven weeks or seven days versus 14 days, or also how groups are collapsing the information into meaningful categories. Are we looking at just by race? Are we looking at it by race and ethnicity? All of these things can differ across jurisdictions. So when you see it on a COVID data tracker or you see it on a state website, their information seems to be conflicting. And then finally, sometimes jurisdictions have additional data or more granular information that they can use and we at CDC don't have access to. So those are just a couple of examples. 